Hey guys, welcome back to chapter 3, part 4. And now we're in the archives, and we're going to use that computer on the left. If I remember my digital history lessons correctly, that's what's called a dot matrix printer. They used that in, like, the 18th century or something. It's a computer from, like, the Stone Age. I've never seen anything like it outside of a museum. It's a miracle it's still working let alone in active service. Hi, I'm Frank Minnelli, and I feel really guilty doing this. I, uh, love my wife Laura, and her birthday is on the 31st of this month, which means... Laura 0731? Please, 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 please. Good. Again. Now, what to search for? We can search for a couple of names here. I'm just going to go uh, through the list. And I'm going to start with the bottom one. Warren's sister. Please, please let there be something. I'm just going to make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. The Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark, so there must be at least some information available. Jacob McAllen. White Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind, though. It could turn out to be important. It's a long shot, but... Warren's sister, and that's her colonization number. I'd better remember it, in case I need it. You have to click on that uh, colonization number to uh, look for it later on. I don't think I need to see any more of Warren's rap sheet. He's been... kinda active. Until I, um... Update Warren's rap sheet. There's no reason to print it out. I'll just make a few small changes. Nothing major. That's much better. Scary how easy it is to manufacture a saint. Whoa! I think I just killed Warren! Oh well, he's just gonna have to, uh, live with that. At least the cops and corporates won't be after him anymore. Just the morgue. Presses are rolling. Now, where's the printer? So I don't know if you can actually, if it's enough to, uh, just, uh, edit his uh, rap sheet, or if, uh, you have to delete it, but I just did both just to be sure. Now you can search for the number. Uh, the colonization number. So let's do that. It's the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck.
I better get a hard copy of this for Warren. Next uh, thing we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, search for uh, Jacob Allen, the head guy of the Church of Voltec. The so-called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. And if you're playing this, uh, you should write that code down. I have no idea what that is. Because we will need that later on. But uh, if you're just watching this, uh, you don't have to write anything down, of course. Um, and I will give you uh, the, the code and numbers later on. Anyway, so yeah. So we exit and take the printouts. So the uh, next uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to take the printouts and uh, there's another computer on the other side of the room and we're going to use that. It's a control panel with a weird keyboard. Yeah, it does have a weird keyboard and we just saw some weird symbols. So now we need those weird symbols. And the code is... Um, second, it's 11, 16, 1... Eight. And uh, this will give us like a folder, and in the folder is data cube, and we have to use that. And after that, we will leave the police station. There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. It's a tiny data cube with a non-standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. So we are going to need that screwdriver that is laying on the floor. And after we picked up that uh, screwdriver, we're going to go outside because we need to do one more <laughs> thing because before we go back to Warren. <coughs> So you can see the crash site, and we have to look at that blinking device. If I'm not completely mistaken, and if I remember my tech classes correctly, that's an anti-gravity control unit. It looks fully intact. And now we can uh, go back to Warren and um, tell him about all the accomplishments we made and where his sister is and that we deleted his, his records. So I cut out the, the long walk and drive uh, because that can be quite boring sometimes. So let's give him the printout. How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? Sure, right here. Listen, Warren. Your parents... They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... my parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. 
I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister, I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. Hey, wait a minute. You killed me? Thanks a lot. Well, when you're dead, nobody cares. The cops are not gonna be chasing after you for crimes committed by a dead guy. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have a tough time getting a new ID. You should've just wiped my record clean. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. So what can I do for you now, sister? Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right, you got it. Head on out to the Newport docks down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, and this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. So we go back to the subway and uh, head for the docks and meet a really, really weird guy. So this walking is pretty long. I don't know if I'm going to cut this out or not, but it kind of pissed me off in the game uh, because you have to go back and forth like uh, five or six times. Yeah, it's not that Cargo bad containers. eventually. It's not that bad. So it's kind of... Uh, weird how the the world has evolved more or less all the ships are not used anymore because now you have like flying cargo um, which doesn't really work as we saw with the shuttle but uh, yeah we walk over the the dock and um, you can look at the cars here um, to get some interesting information Hey, cool! It's a 2032 Camaro in prime condition! Gas-guzzling automobiles was my secret passion before I turned 13. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are, really. It's a rickety ladder. So, the uh, next thing we do is we head up to the garage. And as we get closer to the garage, we're gonna have, like, a... Um, the scene is gonna change. We are going to get a close-up of the garage entrance, and before we knock on the door, there's something we have to do. Um, come on, on the right you can see like a paint a shaker or something. We'll see. I'm going to look at it now. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint then. It's so last century. And uh, what we need to do here is we have to take the can and put it in the paint shaker to uh, give it a good shake. I think that's quite enough. This is volatile stuff. I'd better get rid of it as soon as possible. I'm gonna end the part here and I'll see you next part. Goodbye.